Hello my friends, here is URL and today we will learn how to unpivot columns based on a condition. Here we have our table with the students' scores. So, we have two columns with scores, the first one in math and the second one in computer science. And we want to unpivot these two columns based on the condition that they have the name score inside the column name because next month we will add another column history score for example and we want to automatically update here with the history score we cannot do this with the user interface in Power Query we have to use the M language to manipulate it in order to get our desired result here is the end result when we will add the new column automatically we will have the new unpivoted column. So let's see how we can do this in Power Query. We go to Data from Table. First we will do it the hard-coded way. We just select them and go to Unpivot Columns. Okay? But you see it is hard-coded. Next month when a new column with scores will arrive we will not have it unpivoted. So let's see how we can manipulate this code in order to get our result. First of all we will make a slight change here. Power Query instead of saying unpivot these two columns okay unpivot these two Power Query automatically said unpivot other columns the other three columns, okay? And I just change from unpivot other columns to just unpivot and specify the two columns that we want to unpivot, okay? It's the same thing and the same result. Now, how do we make this dynamic? Here, we have to put a list, okay? How we extract the list? We have the list.select, okay? function and then we have another function table that column names okay we'll combine these two functions to get the list of the columns this will be the first step so we just delete these that are hard coded and put this function first it is table that column names from change type okay from the previous tape and then we say list.select ok and now we want to put the condition what will be the condition? the condition is to the text to contain the name score and we have the function text.contains and also we will use the word each ok each and then we will use the function text.contains OK, and now we got our result. So, again, we put the table.column names and then list.select. OK, we have the list with the column names. And then inside this list, we use the keyword each and then text.contains. OK, we have the score. and then we have our result. We go to close and load and we have our table. Now let's add the history score column to the table then go refresh and now we have the history also so it is dynamic. The same step can be applied in Power BI so it doesn't matter the environment where you do this trick. I hope you have found this video useful. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.